In this concept, we're learning about vertical angles. Anytime you learn a new vocabulary word, it is important to think about any prior knowledge you have with those words. So with vertical angles, you probably have some prior knowledge about the word vertical and some prior knowledge about the word angle. Vertical angles are a combination of those sort of two words. So vertical, you should know, sort of means straight up and down. So for example, that is a vertical line. An angle, as you know, hopefully, is a geometric sort of object. This would be an example of an angle. And angles are measured in degrees. So vertical angles are formed actually when you have two intersecting lines. And anytime you have pretty much one pair of vertical angles, you'll have another pair. So they always come in sets of two. So in this picture, this would be one pair of vertical angles. You can see they're sort of on top of each other, like a vertical line. And this would be another pair of vertical angles. So now that we know what they are, it's important to know what properties do vertical angles have. Let's just draw another picture and see if you can guess what, how are the two vertical angles related. So in this picture, I'll make it a little bit more skinny, where one angle is small and one angle is big. So in this picture, this would be one pair of vertical angles, and this would be another pair. And hopefully by looking at these four examples of vertical angles, you can make a guess that vertical angles will always be the same. Like in this picture, the red angles are both pretty small and the green angles are both pretty big. It's actually the case that they're exactly the same. The green angle is exactly the same as the other green angle and the red angle is exactly the same as the other, other red angle. Vertical angles, the biggest thing you need to know about them is that they're always congruent. That means that they're always the same measure. So that means if this was 10 degrees, this angle over here also is going to be 10 degrees. So it's important to understand sort of why this is instead of just accepting that that has to be true. We can show it pretty easily that that has to be true, that vertical angles always have to be congruent. So let's just draw a picture. And we'll just do a sort of proof with a specific example. So let's just say that this angle is 100 degrees. Now you should know what this angle is based on your knowledge of linear pairs. Because these two angles make a straight line, they have to add up to 180 degrees. They have to be supplementary. So that means this angle has to be 80 degrees. Now we can use that same trick again to figure out this angle over here because the 80 degrees and this angle also are a linear pair. So they have to add up to 180 degrees. So this angle has to be 100 in order to match with the 80 to make 180 degrees. So we can see that now these have to both be 100 because they both have to add up to 180 degrees with this angle over here. This was a specific example type of proof, but you could easily prove the same thing by just making this be an x and showing that this has to be 180 minus x always, and therefore this will also always have to be back to x. At this point, you should check out the other video that will show you some specific examples of how to use vertical angles to solve problems.